the impossible question. Uh, first of all, this is not an impossible question. This is actually solvable. Uh, and it's not actually that complicated either. So the question gives you a area with some of the lengths on some of the sides. It says, here's the shape of all the measurements in centimeters. And it says this shape has an area of a centimeter squared and then show that a equals 2x squared plus 24x plus 46. So it's asking you to calculate the area of this shape. There's a couple of things to note about this shape. Um, all of the internal angles, apart from one, are right angles, which means that the remaining angle is also a right angle, but on its outside edge. That's quite important because it allows you to cut this up into smaller segments or to extend it into a larger segment, then calculate the areas on those as rectangles. So every calculation we're gonna do here is, a, is for a rectangle. There's two main methods I can see that, to this question. One is, is essentially work out a bigger shape and remove a smaller shape. And the other one is you split this shape up into two. So I'm gonna do the subtractive method first uh, as I think it actually requires less work. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this big rectangle that includes the missing corner, we're gonna calculate its area. So I'm gonna call this R, and I know that the area of R is gonna be the base times by the height, so 2x plus six times by x plus 11. So if we multiply this out, we get 2x squared plus 22x plus 6x plus 66. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take away this area here, which is the bit that we've added in. Now, all of these internal angles will be right angles for the same reason as before, but we don't know this side here. So we need to calculate the length of this side. So I'm gonna put T. So T equals, and we know the length of the bottom and we know the length of this bit here that we're gonna be taking off. So what we can actually do is we can do 2X plus six minus x plus one. However, you need to put this one in brackets because of the minus in front of this. So this becomes, when you, when you calculate it out, x plus five. So two x minus an x gives you an x, six minus a one gives you five. So now that we know the, the base and the height, we can work out the area of this section here. So the area of that, which we're gonna call B, equals four times by X plus five, which is four X plus 20. Now that we've got those, we can work out the area of A. So we know that the area of A equals the area of R minus the area of B. So this becomes a simple subtraction. So we get left with a two X squared, and then we need to do this bit here minus this bit here. So 22x plus 6x is 28x minus the 4x gives us 24x. And then we need to do this 66 minus this 20, which equals 46. 46. And then that is the answer to our equa equation. You can see that actually it's not that difficult to, uh, to solve using this method. The only thing you might want to do if you're doing this in the exam is write that you're going to work out the area of the big rectangle and then remove the small rectangle. And then the second method is actually to divide this rectangle up. Now there's two different ways you could do this. You could do it across here uh, and then calculate the bottom rectangle and the top rectangle separately. Or you could separate it down here and work out the two rectangles separately. I'm gonna call this one C and this one D. Now to work out the areas of these, we actually first need to calculate the um, sides that we have missing. So this side here, we don't know, and this side here, we don't know. Well, in the previous you know, previous example, I showed you how you could work out this top one. So this one here becomes two X plus six minus X plus one, which is X plus five. And then similarly, we can, we can calculate this height here because we know that it is X plus 11 minus four which is x plus seven. So we can work out the area of C because we know that it is, the, uh, it is x plus one, which is its width times by its height, which is x plus 11. 
which gives us x squared plus 12x plus 11. And then we can work out the area of D, which is x plus 5 times by x plus 7, which becomes x squared plus 12x plus 35. And then we know again that A this time is the addition of C plus D. So adding them together, we get two x squared terms. 12x plus 12x is 24x. And then 11 plus 35 is 46. So again, we get the same result. So there's two different methods there of calculating this, um, showing that it's clearly not an impossible question. And actually, when you think about it, it's a lot easier than it first looks. So the important things to know here are that if you ever get a shape that's missing sides or missing lengths of sides, look at the internal angles because you might be able to infer that they're all going to be right angles and therefore it becomes a lot easier. There's no trigonometry involved. Um, you can just subtract lengths of sides from other sides to get lengths of sides that are missing. And then you just either subtract, try, uh, subtract rectangles from rectangles or add sub rectangles to rectangles to give you your bigger areas.